Tuesday was observed as World Mother Tongue Day, which raises awareness about the importance of mother tongues and the role they play in preserving heritage. Fittingly, on this day, the Monsignor Patrick Anthony Folk Research Center, Plas SN project under the theme Bridging Heritage and Livelihoods, received a financial shot in the arm. A check of $50,000 from UNESCO will help bring the seminal work of the FRC in advancing St. Lucia folk culture to life, with patron Sesson Descart as the symbol. Chair of the Folk Research Center, Ember Charles, argues that formalizing indigenous languages in every aspect of life is a practical rather than abstract function. There is some element of utility and of and functionality of, of the language, not just to, to, to um, promote and preserve culture, but it's a means of communication. It's a means of supporting governance. Lots of people can't participate fully into development because politicians and policymakers don't speak their language. And I think it's important that we celebrate language on a day like today to keep it on the front burner that people do not just relegate it to just giving jokes and um, you know, informal conversation, but it has a place in our development and will continue as an organization to advocate for the official recognition of Creole as a language in St. Lucia. Monsignor Dr. Patrick Anthony, a noted exponent of the Creole language and culture, extolled the efforts of the late Sesson Descart in promoting St. Lucia's heritage. For him, it's no different than the noble contemporary undertaking of the FRC. Activists hope to manifest a long overdue museum out of Sesson's beloved Monrepo home to not only immortalize the cultural figure, but sustain the essence of St. Lucia's heritage through the ages. And if we have a, a museum where we can really big up not just Sesen, but all our cultural heroes. In fact, one of the dreams I've ever had have been seen to if I long time that. We don't have any heroes park, cultural heroes park in St. Lucia. At a place like Place Sesen, we can start a cultural heroes park. So when, when, when students go to visit Sesen's place, they will see uh, something about a mighty Pele. They say, who is Pele? Pele is Californian. <laughs> they will see a Ramo Poleon. So all of our folk heroes, uh, Liza Maxwell, we can make a sort of a folk heroes park around Sesson's Park. So the museum is not just a museum, but it becomes a whole place, you know, where students can go, where tourists can go. And of course, there is so much cultural industry that can develop around that. National Coordinator of the St. Lucia National Commission for UNESCO, Marcia Symphorian. Reiterated calls for policymakers to embrace multilingual education to allow children to be taught in their mother tongue. For UNESCO, official linguistic status for second languages ties in with the goals of the Plaza Sen project. This commitment to the preservation and promotion of our cultural heritage is at the heart of this wonderful initiative conceptualized by the FRC. And I am very pleased to announce UNESCO's support for this project through a donation of $50,000 towards its implementation. Funding for the project was secured under the UNESCO Participation Program and is the first of four cultural projects which, which we will be implementing this year. This project, Bridging Heritage and Livelihoods, the PLAS SESEN proposal, museum proposal, seeks to provide the resources necessary to commence the establishment of La Place de Seine in the community of Monrepo as a model for sustainable and resilient community-based small museum, museum sorry, in the Caribbean. UNESCO says it's pleased to make the financial contribution as well as provide technical assistance and expertise in collaboration with the FRC on the special initiative to commemorate St. Lucia's Queen of Folk Culture. The presentation and observance of Mother Tongue Day also dovetails with the start of the UNESCO's poetry competition.